Okay. Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Uh, I just wanted to share a couple things with you guys because today was a really emotional day. Um, I went down to Southwest, down Werner, to this place called e &L Meat Market to get a few groceries, some tortillas and stuff like that. They have a lot of Mexican products. Good stuff. Anyway, on the bus, we pick up these two people, and the, the guy has a walker, you guys, and he is having a hard time. And when I seen the walker, I was flooded with emotion, and I started sobbing on the bus. Sobbing. I couldn't stop crying because all I could think about was Sarah, and I was, and he was so pitiful. I mean, he could barely move. And he didn't have no balance. And the female that was with him, I'm sure that was his woman or whatever, maybe his sister, I don't know, but she was helping him. When he went to get off the uh, bus, he was real, like, his balance was way off. And so I asked her, I said, do you need me to help you get him down because the step is kind of high? And she said, no, thank you. So I guess maybe, you know, they don't like to ask people for help or whatever. But anyway, I was just overcome with emotion. You know, because Sarah immediately popped right in my head. And I started thinking about what she went through. And, and it was awful. It was just awful, awful, awful. She went from being able to walk with the walker to literally not being able to do anything for herself. Nothing. And uh, the suffering was just horrendous. It was so traumatic, so horrific. And I think about that sometimes. Sometimes I think about it a little too much and I shouldn't do that because it puts me in a state where I don't care about nothing and I don't care what happens to me. I don't care what happens to everything that I've accomplished. You know what I'm saying? So I need to not do that. I'm working on that. But I miss her so, so bad, you guys. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. There's no words for her. None of that. I miss my baby. I miss her. I just wish that she was here to enjoy all the blessings that I have been given since she passed away. I mean, it's it's just unreal. The things that have that God has put into my life and given me, you know, and he knows my heart and he sees me striving every day to stay on point, to do what I'm supposed to be doing. And I mean, it's not easy, but I do it. And um, I just... I'm so grateful for everything that I do have. I love my house, you guys. I love it. But I just don't like where it is. And the landlord is an asshole. I still, he still hasn't put the shutoff valve on my stove. I haven't cooked on my stove since I've been here. I had to buy an electric skillet and I have a microwave and a crock pot. Uh, I had to pay to get the grass cut, you guys. It was almost up to my knees in the front yard. I didn't do the backyard because... I, that would have cost about $75. It cost me $40 to get my front lawn cut. But I couldn't take it anymore. I, I mean, I really, I could not take it no more. And um, I'm not going to continue to beg him to do things that he's responsible for doing. And he's not doing anything. He doesn't even respond. So, Monday, I'm calling the city. Because this house, I'm quite sure, is not up to code. There's not a 220 line in my fuse box. So I'm going to call the city and I'm going to tell them about this. And maybe they'll send someone out here. And if they do, I'm going to have to move. I'll bet you $100. But also Monday, I found an upper lower flat closer to Southwest. And um, Maria's going to move downstairs. She has five kids, beautiful kids. She's a beautiful little girl. Maria's very, she's about Sarah's age beautiful woman and her kids are just awesome and then I'm going to try to live upstairs so we're going to go talk to the lady that got me this house and see if I can be moved and if and get her a, a place too so that's what's happening in my life right now y'all um I'm trying to start school because I'm ready to I'm ready to do some things because my brain feels like it's dying y'all but um I just got so many other things going on right now. Like, 
in the basement. I got a lot of stuff that I need to go through, throw out, wash, pack, you know, just, and I have so much stuff. I didn't realize how much stuff I had when I was in the Abando. Oh my gosh. And then the lady that got me the house, of course, she got me the, the, the kitchen table and chairs, the recliner, the bedroom sets, the stove, the refrigerator, whatever I didn't have and needed, she got it for me. So I have it, like everything I need as far as uh, furniture and stuff. But I want a washer and dryer, and I can't get no washer and dryer because there's no 220 line. And, and uh, he, he and the, the furnace is blowing heat all in the basement. My, my bill is... For my light and gas bill is almost six hundred dollars from the winter time. I'm on a budget. I only pay a certain amount, but six hundred dollars it shouldn't be that high. But no, because the furnace is all screwed up and blows all the heat in the basement. Hey, that's why it's high. <laughs> so I'm not going to go through that again this winter. If I'm here again this winter, he's going to have to do something about that furnace. But if the city comes out, he'll have to do it anyway. So. And the, um, the ductwork in the two bedrooms on this main floor, he's going to have to put it in the bedrooms because there's no ductwork. The no heat goes in there. You fr it's like a freezer in there in the winter. My grandbaby in there bundled up. I said, oh, no. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We're going to have to get you a space here and leave the door open in your bedroom. I know you like your privacy, but we're going to have to do that because I don't need you to get sick. Oh, you guys, she got glasses. Oh, my gosh. She is so pretty. She's just beautiful. She's gorgeous to me. And not just because she's my granddaughter. She's just got a natural beauty. She doesn't wear makeup. She's just naturally beautiful. And it's just awesome. I see so much with Sarah and her. It, just her features and her hands and stuff. And that just, I don't know. I don't know. I just miss my baby. I'm sorry, you guys, but. This is what I do all the time, cry. I cry a lot. And I talk to Sarah all the time. People look at me like I'm, I'm crazy. I don't care. I just keep right on talking. If I feel like talking to her, I don't care where I'm at or who's around me. I get to talking. I miss my son, too. I do. I miss my son. But I, his, mine and his relationship was different from mine and Sarah's. And the way that she passed away, what she went through was just... I don't know, but him too, he suffered too. I mean, he was in a car accident, so I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I got to get this cat situation together so I can get to the emergency room and see why my ears have been bleeding because I've been having like some, like I can't turn my head no further than that to the, to the right because it hurts and there's pain all in here. And when I turn it this way, it hurts back up in here, so I'm thinking maybe that I got a tumor or uh, I don't know, you know. So I'm going to have to, I hope it ain't no aneurysm, but I'm going to have to go see what it is. And I do not want to be put in no MRI machine because I am claustrophobic. I cannot go in there and stay in there for no hours. I will not, I cannot do that. I can't. They're going to have to just put some dye in me and take an x-ray or something because I can't do it. I cannot, or they have to knock me out because I can't do it. But, um... I just, I went to the doctor a few days ago and got my subs and uh, he, I love my doctor. He says, you are doing so good. I said, I know I'm trying. I said, but it's scary because sometimes I think what, you know, I start thinking about my daughter and just different things. And I'm like, I want to say fuck it, you know, and just go get fudged up. But it's not, it isn't worth it. It really isn't. It's not worth it because I don't like to be so out of it that I don't remember stuff and I lose stuff and wake up broke when I have money and just things like that. I don't like that. That's how I used to be. So, but yeah, I, um, I was going to go to Joanne Fabrics today because I want to make some curtains for my living room, but I'm tired. I just been running, running, running for the last few days on the bus, going down to the doctor, doing this, doing it. I'm tired. Y'all I'm, I'm getting ready to clean out the garbage cans. Go out in the front by the porch and dig some holes to plant my tulips and stuff. I got me some pretty, uh, I got some, um, echinacea and some, uh, not tulips. Them are, um, I forget what they are. Things upstairs, but they're purple and they're beautiful. I'm going to go out there and plant them right there. And then I'm going to put my LED lights all across in the front. And that's it. I'm taking me a shower, making me something to eat. 
going to bed and watching TV. I went grocery shopping. I'm, I'm on jam. So I'm good. I'm broke, but I'm good. Yep, I got enough to get me a pack of cigarettes and I'm straight. I'm good. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I know you guys haven't heard from me for a while. And um, like I said, somebody said that, you know, that I didn't have my place still. And I, you know, I was uh, getting high and da 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 but whatever, you know, like someone told me, I, a lot of people told me, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody, and, they, and I don't. So, anyways, this is the, my, my place. Yep. I got all the doors open and stuff, the windows and stuff, my bathroom, my living room. Look at these, look, there's a little girl, and there's one of her babies. Right there, if y'all can see the baby. There's another one somewhere. I got to get rid of them three because uh, they're um, messing on my couch, like peeing or something on my couch. I can't have that. Uh-uh, they got to go. But, um, yeah, I'm still in my place. And you know who I'm talking to, too. This is Sarah's, one of her shrines. She has another one in my room. She's even in the bathroom, y'all, on the wall. Look, she's in the kitchen, too. I swear. I'll show you. Right there. She's everywhere in here. Everywhere. Everywhere. So, I just want to say thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for listening. Thanks for believing in me. And I love all y'all that do believe in me and send positive messages and vibes and help me to go forward. And um, just stay blessed and stay safe. And peace out.